Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. We'll continue painting our little uh, chickadee. I am um, using the 1 8 angle brush and we'll start by putting in his little tail feathers. I'm just going to load all that brush up with the black, like so. And I'm just going to chisel that in, like so. It's easier to do it this way. Put some little feathers in. Make it a little bit shorter as you come round. There, and then there's some little ones here. Put up an uneven. And they come down here. Okay. Like so. Okay. I'll go back into the chisel. I'll put some black on. Put some black on. Pick up a little bit of white on the point blender. And then we're just going to bring in some little highlights, a little bit of pressure. Like so. Same here. We'll come back and make them a little bit stronger after. We'll just put them in so we know where we are. And then we'll load up again with the black. And we'll just come in here, chop in. You can see them by putting that little bit of highlight in the mark. There you are. Just chop. Use the chisel or the brush. There we are. Now we'll pick up a little bit more on the point. Blend it a little. Bring it round. And we'll just, a little bit of pressure, pull them in a little bit more wide. A little bit more white. Put these in. There we are. Now wash your brush. Dry it on your paper towel. If you've got some black left on it, that's okay. We're going to go into the raw sienna. Flatten it on your brush. And we're just going to bring a little in here. And we're using the chisel of the brush and we're chopping it in, like so. Just in there. A little bit more on the point, and let's bring in a little here. Use a chisel, like so. Little feathers. And then we'll pick up a little white on that dirty brush it's still got the raw sienna on it and we'll just drag in a little bit of light in here okay now we'll go back into the wash the brush go back into the black pick up the white like so I'm just gonna lay it down a wee bit heavier like that A little bit more white. Pickle a little bit more white. You'll know whether you want to brighten up that tail a little more. It's your painting, so if you want to have a brighter tail, that's up to you. There you go. You can see better that way. I might just pick up a little black and just push into it, just a little, just soften that edge up. There you go. I can even come up here with a little bit of black. Just tap it in. Okay, black on the brush again, going on the chisel. And we'll just bring in a little bit of movement there. 
And there. I've got some little feathers down there. Flatten off your chisel again. And we'll just make that a little bit uneven. So just pull in some rough edges for the feathers. And a little bit here. It's too neat here. There you are. Okay. We'll put just a little wash over the off black. So I'm picking up a little bit of black on the point of the brush, just a little. Blend it like so. And just put a little wash over there. Just over the top of his eye. Because you don't want it too light up there. And we'll go back into the the finer brush, pick up some black, roll it off to a nice point. I'm just going to put the teeny sweeny little mark underneath there, just like so. Maybe down there. And then we're going to turn it around. We're going to give them some little loose, a little bit of water, just a little. Some loose feathers coming off his little head there. Like so. There. Take them back further. Yeah, and give them a couple of little loose ones down here too. Okay. Now his legs are black, so they're a wee bit thicker here. And then just fine as you come down. And then just fold it over. This one's a little bit shorter. Just fold it over. Like so. Now you're still using this round two brush. We're going to pick up some white, roll it to a nice point. I just want to put a little highlight in there. A little bit more white, I think. It's better. And then I'll run a little highlight across the top of his beak. Like so. And maybe a little on his legs. Okay. Okay. If you feel you need to brighten that eye up a little, load up your fine liner and just run around there a little. Just need a little bit of highlight there, I think. Oops. Now we've gone into the black a little. I don't want that, so what we'll have to do is go back into the black again and just push that in just to tidy that shape up. like so. You could even make that little highlight a little bit smaller by pushing in with the black. See like so. Now the, um, I'll go back to the angle brush again. I'm going to pick up some of the burnt amber and I'm just going to put in a, put in the, the branch that he's sitting on. And just block it in. Remember it's a branch, you don't want it neat. Just a, it's an unusual shape. And then we'll um, highlight a little bit on top. I'm going to pick up some raw sienna and run a little bit of raw sienna across the top. Um, like so. And then uh, I've got some um, Fawn here, I'll pick up some fawn on the point of the brush and we'll just bring in a little bit of highlight just across the top. Not so much under him because he'll you'll have a shadow underneath there. There you are. I'll just pick a little white up on that brush as well. Just to lighten it a little bit there. Bring 
Karen. It's your little branch, so you can make it any shape you like. As long as the little fella's got somewhere to put his claws and he's have a rest. A little bit more shadow on the bottom. Bottom timbre, I'd pick up a, I'll just a touch of black as well, just to drag on the bottom. Put a couple of little marks on it. Like so. There we are. Uh, what else have we got to do? I've lightened up the head a little bit, you can see in that one. Um, what I did there was load up, use the angle brush, load up with the black, pick up a little bit of white, not much, and you've got to blend it well on your palette. So it's, a, it's like a light grey. And then just soften, just lighten it up a little bit there. And then touch it with your finger. There we are. I'll just put another little bit here. Turn it around. Let's wash that brush. It's a bit messy. I'll just bring in this little tail. There we are. I hope you've enjoyed doing that. Um, if you have, I appreciate if you press the like button or send me a message. Um, I'd appreciate that too. Or submitting to my um, YouTube channel. It um, and we'll we'll um, paint something different for you next time. Okay. So enjoy painting. Take care of yourselves and um, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.